the number one question you ask on my two ingredient donuts is can you make regular ring donuts with that recipe? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. You can use the exact same recipe, but with a few simple changes, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious two ingredients melt in your mouth mini donuts. Okay, so we're going to make my two ingredient dough. If you've been part of our fam for a while now, you know how versatile this recipe is. It's self-rising flour and yogurt. That's it. Like always, I will write substitutes in the description box. So if you don't have these two ingredients, you can still make these glazed donuts. We're going to mix these two ingredients together using a spatula, but you will eventually have to transfer this onto your work surface and bring the dough together with your hands. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hello there. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. I post new videos every week. You're going to mix this dough for a good minute or two. If it gets sticky, you can use a bench scraper. Now we're going to let this dough rest for about 30 minutes. The reason we do this is because we need to make sure that all the flour is properly hydrated. The extra resting time is needed because this dough is much thicker than my original two ingredient, um, you know, donut dough. If you don't do this, the donuts will come out crispy instead of fluffy. If that happens, don't despair. Toss them in cinnamon sugar and boom, you got delicious crunchy churro donuts. So wrap the dough well in some plastic wrap which has been lightly greased and set this aside for about half an hour. Okay so fast forward half an hour later we're gonna roll this out. Make sure you flour your work surface well so nothing sticks. Flour the top of the dough as well and you want to roll this out to about one quarter of an inch thickness. These will puff up in the oil so make sure the dough isn't you know too thick. Now I'm going to say this because I'm so sure some of you will be curious to know. Out of curiosity, I did try to make normal sized donuts with this dough. I thought it could be a really nice shortcut to making you know, a regular sized donuts with this recipe. Bad idea, doesn't work. There's no shortcut. While you can get away with making, you know, tiny donuts with this recipe, it just doesn't scale up to regular sized donuts and the texture will be off. You can re-roll this dough as many times as you like. Just make sure to not add too much extra flour. Otherwise, you're going to have to do the resting step again to ensure that the newly added flour is properly hydrated again. But now the easiest way to fry these babies is to just place them onto a spatula or slotted spoon and place that in the hot oil. It's faster and safer. Do not drop the donuts in, you know, hot oil. When I was a kid, I used to toss things in hot oil and then run away. I'm sure we've all done this. And let me tell you, it's one of the scariest things in the world and it's so unsafe. Never do that. Place the spoon in the hot oil, hold it there, and you'll see within seconds the donuts will start to bubble and float to the top. Make sure your oil is at the right temperature, which should be around 160 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit. And you want to cook these until golden. Do not let these brown too much. Set aside on some paper towels and we're going to make the glaze. It's just melted butter, powdered sugar, vanilla, and a little bit of milk. That's it. Depending on how thin or thick you like your glaze, you can add more or less milk. Give it a good mix and you're going to coat your donuts entirely with this glaze. You want to shake off the excess glaze or not, you know, you do you, and serve. Not only are these fun to make, but they're absolutely delicious. There's just something so satisfying about putting a handful of tiny donuts all at once in your mouth. It's just an amazing, delicious experience. These are fluffy and soft. They're absolutely amazing.